I've always liked Try On Worlds. They've been cast in a bit of a negative light in the last couple of years, with many harsh words thrown at some of their free-to-play setups, and they've gotten into publishing some more flaky titles. But I find all the MMOs try on develop for themselves to be well-constructed and creative and just kinda wholesome. And Trove is one of them. It's a cute little voxel-based sandbox, which is obviously one of the kabillion games that have spawned off the ridiculous success of Minecraft. The game seems pretty simple at first, but... Well, actually the game always seems simple, but it's got a fair bit of stuff going on. It's a pretty big game that always feels like a pretty small game. There's a lot packed into its under a gigabyte client. All of the Minecraft tropes are here. Mining, building, crafting, exploring. The game, or at least the early game which I've played, is based around dynamically generated biomes. You and a bunch of other players will jump into a new world with a bunch of random dungeons to clear and bosses to fight. Trove is much more combat focused than Minecraft. There's a bunch of wacky classes, which you can switch between at will if you get the currency to unlock them. They all seem pretty unique and very easy to jump into. The gameplay is deceptively straightforward. I say deceptively because once things start to get a little crazier with puzzles and multiple players teaming up and the world throwing environmental effects at you, it can get a bit interesting. It passes the is it possible for really weird things to happen test I like to put MMOs through. I was just trying to change my hair colour when this minion lord randomly showed up and decided it was his life's purpose to torment me. I eventually showed him who's boss after he obliterated me a couple of times. It seems like most of the gameplay is based on fast-paced hacking and slashing through mobs and quick repetitive dungeon crawls, like Diablo, where it's about dispatching lots of enemies and pulling in masses of loot. The sound and visuals are good, both very simplistic, but decidedly so. I'm not a big fan of the voxel style like many are, but Tryon uses it to be pretty creative. The sky effects and the changing weather do achieve some moments of undeniable beauty. But in the end, Trove doesn't transcend what it is. Not that it's trying to, I just... Maybe I just kind of hoped it would. These worlds feel pretty temporary. The instances are rapidly generated and consumed by you and your anonymous fellow pixel busters. I mean players. I, I like MMOs to be a bit more persistent. That's not to say there aren't some more permanent worlds, but it seems like many adventures are generated and discarded. I'm informed that the game is regularly updated, and that you can grind forever. Like, you can never have all the stuff. You can grind into oblivion. Terrifying. If you like collecting, crafting, and building with blocks, Trove is for you. It's a complete and well-made game of its kind, but it really is of its kind. If Minecraft had more focus on combat and was an MMO, I imagine it'd look just like this. I like that Trove is a colourful, harmless, highly accessible MMO that anyone can appreciate but Voxel fans will love. Though there are a couple of interesting new ones in development, Voxel MMOs currently don't get much better than this. Thank you.